What's going on? This is Brandon. Gonna be making my first YouTube video, so fingers crossed, hopefully it goes good. And what I'm gonna be doing is showing off my Mototech 1500 watt 48 volt pro pit bike, full electric, thing's pretty sweet. Does about 25 miles per hour with kit on it, but I'm about 175, so it probably does about 20 with me on it. And on this video, I'm going to be pulling out the controller and swapping the grips and stuff. As you can see, it's got a little half throttle, uh, cheesy little battery gauge, nothing special. And I bought this kit right here from Electro & Co. Check it out. And it's a base kit, it cost me $500 pretty cheap and what this will allow me to do is push more wattage out of the stock motor and eventually I'll be able to upgrade to 72 volt instead of 48 volt and we can start getting some real speed start getting some fast wheelies uh, a quick little rundown of what I got so we have the controller here pretty simple stuff Got this for the hall sensor, a um, couple little ones. Let's see, this guy right here, I believe is for the throttle. And we got the voltage gauge. And we got the on and off switch right here. And then you come over here, got a grip. And then we got an actual full uh, motorcycle style grip instead of that half, th half grip, which is a pain in the butt. And we got a real voltage meter. It's gonna tell you exact voltage. That way you're not guessing with that little bar gauge. And of course your on and off switch. Pretty simple stuff. So I'm gonna set up a little time lapse, pull this thing apart, and then I'll give you a quick rundown of how to plug it in, how to get it set up, and then get this, uh, get this running, do some test drives. See if it uh, makes a big difference. Fingers crossed. All right, before I get that time lapse going, uh, I figured I will show you guys where all the bolts and nuts and Allen keys and everything goes to take it apart. Very, very simple. So usually I start off by taking the seat off. Little nut right here. Take that off real quick. The seat pops right off. And then I'll go with the front shrouds whatever you want to call them just some plastic sitting here nothing special uh, you got two allen bolts right here and then these little metal arms you can kind of just move them out of the way and then right under here the cover we got our uh, I guess it's uh, throttle response and speed settings those will be gone because we will have them we got all the speed settings on the grip right here so we'll get rid of that stuff, you know, weight savings, be good for it. But anyways, once you get those two bolts out, you got a little bolt right here, and then another one right under the seat, and then this whole thing will pop off, and then you just go to the side covers right here, you got one right here, and one right here, and then this will slide off, and it'll reveal the controller and the battery, all the wiring and stuff. Um, it's very, very simple. I won't be taking out the motor because that's going to stay. Fingers crossed the controller doesn't blow it up right away. <laughs> I know it's going to get hot. And then I believe from there that's it. I won't worry about the, the sides and the fenders because that's not in the way. Um, that should pretty much do it once I get into it and get the plastics off. Um, I'll show you on the inside and then we'll get it started. All right, so as you can see, that took me about five minutes. Pretty simple. Easy parts, two covers, got the shroud, got the seat, and that's gonna expose everything. So I got your stock 48 volt battery that we're gonna keep, stock motor that we're gonna keep, and got all that jumbled up wiring. Uh, so I actually do have a couple, I have one unplugged 
and I do believe that these do not come with the new controller and all this is is a sensor on the brake so if you press the brake down it'll actually cut power to the motor now for me I don't like that it kind of messes with my wheelies and you know it's just not comfortable like that so I unplug those guys so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the controller got a couple allens right there get everything unplugged um, I mean, first things first, so I'm going to unplug the battery so I don't electrocute myself. And then after that, we'll plug in the new controller. I'll show you all the wires and stuff. Like I said earlier, it's super easy stuff. Um, we're talking four clips and you're done. Get it bolted right in and we should be good to go. All right, so I got the controller out. Let's see where's that. Got all this crap on it. We ain't gonna be using half of it anymore. So you can see a lot of this stuff is gonna get tossed and replaced. It's all like throttle control, uh, the brake sensors, blah, blah, blah. So right now I'm gonna be ripping off the throttles, get all that stuff taken off, and then be putting all the new stuff on and then what I think I'm going to do is kind of hook it all up half fast, make sure it runs, and then I'll get it all tidied up, put it in there, and be ready to rip. All right, so I saved you all the trouble of watching me struggle to get the grips on and off. So let's see, I got it all set up to how I think I'm gonna like it. Got my on and off switch, new grip set up. Got my voltmeter, got it all tightened down with my new grip. It's gonna look nice. Got the modes, one, two, and three. And so what I ended up doing is I plugged it all in, made sure it ran real quick. Um, I only did that to see which way this was clocked. I didn't see the, I, didn't, I wasn't sure which way it was going to read. And got that figured out, set it up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run all the wiring through. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to mount the controller. Which is most likely going to end up in the same spot right here. If you notice... It's a little bit longer, so you can see the top of it right there. It doesn't match up with the slot. So I'll probably end up bolting it down right there and just throwing some zip ties down at the bottom there. That way it'll keep it all nice. But let's figure I'll show you this real quick. So we got the hall sensor plugged in and then it's all color coded so you can't mess it up. Yellow, green, and blue. Got it all screwed in right there. So right now, I'm gonna get it all mounted up, get my wiring all squared away, plug it all in, and then I'll be back to show you it running. All right, so I'm running out of time tonight, but we got it all wired up, got it all tightened up. It's looking good. I still gotta go through, button everything up, zip tie it down. But I've got the controllers nice and sturdy. Just one bolt up top, a couple zip ties down at the bottom. Ain't going nowhere. Still gotta get rid of all this crap. I ain't gonna be using that no more. It's not gonna be keyed anymore, so we'll get rid of that crap. And just a couple little things to finish it off, but while well, I got it plugged in and ready to go, flip her on, voltage reader. It is gonna be gnarly. I actually just took it for a little test trip down the road 
Unfortunately, it's dark right now and I'm about to head in, but it rips, so I damn near looped it. Almost fell on my ass. I'll be back tomorrow when I get some sunlight.